The Reserve Bank of Australia is expected to keep rates on hold for the rest of the year, but that doesn't mean consumers should sit back and relax. In fact, Michelle Hutchison from comparison website finder.com.au says now is when mortgage holders should be planning for future rate hikes. She joins me now in the studio to discuss. And Michelle, interest rates are at a record low at the moment. When are we likely to see them go higher? Our survey showed that most economists and experts are expecting the cash rate to rise next year. But they're actually split on when exactly it will rise. Um, half are saying uh, the first half of next year and half are saying the second half. So, um, But either way, we're expected to see rate hikes from next year. So 2015, 2014, we're safe for the moment uh, at those record lows still. Uh, where are interest rates heading? Are they going back towards that average of 5% that we've seen? seen for so many years? No, actually, there looks like there will be a new normal. That's what our experts are saying, where um, the interest rates will rise another 150 basis points to about 4%, rather than that historical average of about 5%. Uh, the RBA cash rate is expected to rise, obviously, we know that. The big banks, the commercial banks, though, have entered this almost like a bidding war, a rate war on their fixed term products. Is this going to offer consumers any reprieve? Well, it could if you are struggling or concerned about future rate hikes because they are dropping, especially those long-term uh, fixed loans like five years. We're seeing, you know, 4.95% at the moment. And if you are concerned about rising rates, now could be a really good time to consider locking in. Well, other than locking in, what should consumers be doing to protect, I guess, their financial futures and those sneaky interest rate rises, which can sometimes, quite frankly, put people's budgets way out. That's right. So uh, you need to factor in how much uh, that's going to cost you when interest rates rise. So for a typical $300,000 loan, 150 basis points more will cost about $300 extra per month. So if you can factor that in now and perhaps add it to an offset account or add it straight onto your home loan, it's not only going to benefit you because every month you will pay a little bit less in interest, you could potentially pay off the loan sooner. But once those interest rate hikes do come around, you'll be um, better equipped and the, the interest rate uh, hikes um, will have less of an impact on you. And one thing that we always emphasise, of course, is that consumers can shop around, they can change providers. Mm -hmm. It's much easier for them to do that now, isn't it? That's right. So, you know, you need to be able to look around. Banks and lenders are more competitive than ever before and they're also admitting to um, negotiating on a one-to-one -one personal level with their, lend with their borrowers. So it's really worth um, leveraging the knowledge that's out there. Use comparison sites, find out what your lender is offering compared to the rest of the market and take that information with you to your lender. Speak to the customer retention department because they're the ones that will ultimately be able to give you a better deal, give you a discount or refinance. If you have enough equity, it might be worth looking at going for a cheaper deal. Oh, well, let's hope interest rates don't go too high. Michelle Hutchison, finder.com.au. Thank you. Thank you.